guys, today I'm going to be doing my first kind of series that I wanted to start called Lush Plus, my favorite Lush products of the month, uh, but also including other products as well, not just Lush. And as a special bonus, I am adding in some things of my boyfriend's favorites as well. So down below, I just want you guys to put in what your favorites were of the month because I'm curious to see what they are and, you know, just kind of like introduce each other to different things that maybe we haven't used. So I'm going to get started with my favorite products of the month. And as I said, this isn't going to be just Lush specific, uh, but I do have some favorite Lush products of the month. So in no particular order, I am going to start with uh, the shampoo that I have been using that I really loved this month. Um, this is the Blonde shampoo from Lush and it is a solid shampoo bar. This was larger but I actually cut it in half just to make it a little easier to hold and you know not waste the product as much because when the solid shampoo bars get wet you know they are going to get smaller naturally because you know you're getting them wet so I decided to just chop mine in half and it just makes holding it a little easier because it fits in the palm of your hand whereas before it was kind of like the length of like an actual like soap bar kind of thing and when I purchased this and I did my haul I was a little bit like I wasn't too fond of the scent there was something about it that kind of was just like I don't know about this like there is a little piece of um lemon in here it's like actual lemon piece in there and then there were these little like um marigold bits like all over it and i i took i like literally like peeled all of those little like marigold pieces off because i think that's what i thought was kind of making it smell a little weird uh but when i started using this the scent grew on me and now i just absolutely love it i think it makes my hair not only smell good, but I don't know. I feel like it's lighting my hair just a tad. It's not like, oh my gosh, you know, it made my hair so much more blonde. But I just really like how it smells and how it's making my hair feel. So that is my favorite um, hair shampoo of the month. And to go along with it, I've been using the Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner. Um, I have so many sample pots of these that I haven't actually had to buy like a full size jar yet, so that's awesome. Uh, but the Lush UK site has it described as a hair perfume, and I believe the reasoning for that is because it has such a very, very, very strong scent. Um, it's very strong floral smell if you love the strong scents in your hair products. Like if you want to be able to smell um, a product in your hair long after you've washed it, then you definitely would love the Happy Happy Joy Joy. And that's what I like so much about it because it just smells so fantastic. You can just smell your hair and it just smells good for like ever. And it doesn't weigh your hair down. I have pretty fine hair and it's not like real thick or anything like that and a lot of times when I use conditioner it just kind of like feels like it just weighs my hair down even more kind of thing and this doesn't do that it just it just makes it feel really nice soft and it doesn't feel weighed down and it smells fantastic so that is my favorite conditioner of the month uh, as far as soap goes I have been using the Lush Summer Pudding bar soap and I also cut this as well. This comes, you know, like uh, an actual bar of soap, but I cut it down into smaller pieces. Just like I said, it's easier to just fit in the palm of your hand kind of thing. And the summer pudding scent smells like a creamy, just, I smell like a vanilla type of cherry scent. It smells so good. I love it. it reminds me of summertime. It's just a perfect to me bar soap to use in summer. And there are some like bits in here that are a bit exfoliating as well. So it's definitely a nice bar of soap that I just love the scent of that. So because I used, I've been using my bar soap, I don't necessarily have a 
favorite um, shower gel because I've been using this bar of soap. So um, next we'll stick to uh, bath and shower type things. Um, I am going to be putting in two of my favorite bath bombs of the month. Uh, the first one is the Lush Rocket Science Bath Bomb and I'm going to put a clip of that in right now. And then my second favorite bath bomb of the month was the Spun Gold Natural Space Cat Galaxy Bath Bomb. And I will put a clip of that one now. my two favorite bath bombs of the month. Um, next we're going to go into, this is another soap that I have been loving and I got this in a lavish box. It's by a company called Sugar Milk and it is a whipped soap fluff is what they call it and it is in frosted animal cookie. This smells so fantastic. I still have a pretty good bit left. Um, I've been, I've been more or less using my bar soap more, uh, but I do like to bust this out every now and then when I just want something just super fun and it is super thick and creamy and it just feels so good and smells fantastic. Super sweet, just cookie kind of scent to it. So I have been loving that. Um, next is okay this is gonna be a little bit weird of having in a favorite a deodorant like I just have to talk about this though because I have been absolutely loving it so I have this fortune cookie soap deodorant I had never used their deodorant before until I received this one this is in the scent Wendy Bird and oh my goodness I absolutely love this deodorant it smells so freaking good like it's one of those deodorants that not only does it work really well but it has such a strong nice beautiful scent it's almost like wearing perfume under your arms kind of thing it just smelled so fantastic um the consistency is a little bit like a gelish type consistency um so when you first put it under your arms you kind of get that squick 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 kind of feeling which feels a little gross and um nasty at first but um after a while you know that does go away uh but i i absolutely loved this and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get the scent anymore because you know they kind of go through uh, the different scents that they offer but I'm definitely next time I have to buy deodorant I think I'm going to buy more fortune cookie soap because it just smells so freaking good so that has been my favorite soap yeah my favorite soap my, that has been my favorite deodorant for the month um next I have a hand cream this was the lush love and light hand cream and this here was just very lightly scented it's not an overpowering kind of smell so I liked using this before I went to sleep at night before I went to bed I would put some on I just kept it like on my nightstand and it was just moisturizing enough and light enough scent that it just you know was nice to put on before I went to bed and it did really help make my hands feel really soft so I liked that um let's see as far as makeup goes I decided on showing my favorite eyeshadow palette because eyeshadow is like one of my favorite makeup products and this was the NYX runway collection 10 color eyeshadow palette this is in the shade champagne and caviar and it is just, and this obviously looks kind of gross because I have been using it, uh, but it's just all sorts of beautiful nude colors, which are my favorite to wear. And you can see which ones I have used the most. So I, I go through, you know, 
when I'm using my, my makeup, I'll, I'll use the palette for a while and then I'll switch it out with something else and then I'll come back to a palette. So I've been using this one for most of this month though and it has been my favorite and has been for a while. But I'm probably going to switch it out for something different um, just so I can give my other palettes some love. But this one is definitely one of my faves. This is a new product. I just received this. Um, not that long ago in a Walmart beauty box, which I don't think I ever <laughs> uploaded my Walmart beauty box um, video. But these are the Eco Tools mask remover sponges. And these were in the Walmart beauty box. And they're just like round sponges. That's like all they are is, is pretty much a sponge, like a thin, a thin circular sponge, right? So these are great though. They're they're made to remove masks, like face masks. And it works really well. And I'm thinking, since it's just basically a sponge, like you could probably just go to like Dollar Tree, buy a pack of just basic sponges and like cut them down into like cute little shapes and just use them to remove your face mask because that's all it is literally uh, but it works really really well at cleaning off face masks you know the real goopy ones that you kind of have to just like you're scrubbing with like your washcloth and like just it just smears and everything and th these work really really fantastic so I'm thinking next time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm going to just get a pack of cheap sponges and see if it's like it does the same type of thing. Well, obviously, I mean, I would think that it would. It's just a freaking sponge, but I really liked them. So, had to include those. And next I have a Witch Baby product. This is the Wheel of Fortune Air Whip, and I received this in one of my Witch Baby spell boxes. Um Oh gosh, this smells fantastic. It was a beautiful, whippy consistency, um, like body butter. To me, it smells like, like a sweet, creamy marshmallow. I, I don't think that was like the exact scent description on it, but that's what I smell when I smell it. It smells so good. Now this is kind of greasy. It goes on pretty greasy. Um, after it soaks into your skin for a while, it does take a while for that greasy feeling to go away, but it does after a while. So if you don't like greasy feeling body butter, yeah. If you don't like greasy feeling body butters, you probably wouldn't like the air whips, but um, it does go away after a while. It just takes a bit, but the scents are just amazing. I love which baby smells and I loved smelling like this one. So. Um, I have to include that because it smells fantastic. Another thing that smells fantastic and has been a favorite of mine forever is the Lush Vanillary Perfume. I need a larger bottle of this. Um, I squander this kind of for like special occasions or just when I feel like I need to smell really, 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 really good. Vanillary is my absolute favorite Lush uh, perfume scent. It's just got this sweet, warm, but not like the warm sh vanilla sugar kind of scent that you'd associate with like Bath and Body Works and stuff. It is so much more better than that. So much more like just sophisticated. It just smells so good. I absolutely love it. And I've been wearing Vanillary for a pretty long time and it just reminds me of Lush. Just. Anytime I put it on, I can just imagine myself, even like my younger self, like in the Lush shops, just moseying around and not being able to afford anything. So I'm so thankful now that I'm an adult and can actually afford to go into Lush and buy what I want to. It's awesome, but it just takes me back to those days of like meandering in the shops and smelling everything and, you know, wishing that I could afford to, to buy it. So hang on, you guys. If you are in those shoes like I was when I was younger and couldn't afford it. When you get older, you will be able to afford your Lush, trust me. So, that is my favorite Lush perfume. Um, next is another hair product. This is the Patiste Dry Shampoo. Um, this one in particular is the Blush Scent. It comes in different kind of smells. Um, I've used pretty much 
not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, the blush smells really nice though. It's like a, a floral type of scent. If you're not familiar with dry shampoos, I think everyone is though, but it's just kind of like something you would spray in your hair to give your hair um, a bit of a, a touch up if you haven't been able to wash it. Um, it kind of helps with any kind of like um, oiliness that maybe your hair has gotten. Um, it also adds volume, just like quick volume on the go kind of thing and it smells great too. So you can give your hair a little bit of a perfumed kind of scent. Um, I've tried many, many, many dry shampoos. I love trying dry shampoos. Anytime I get a sample of a different one, I love trying it out, but I always go back to the Batiste. So that is my favorite and probably always will continue to be unless I, I find something else that I really like. Um, next I have a lip balm. This is the Lip Smacker Pomegranate Iced Tea. I'm a huge fan of lip smackers, have been ever since I was young. Um, this one I think is a newer one. I love tea and I really, really love the pomegranate flavor. And this one in particular has a bit of a pink tint to it, which is really nice. Um, I actually have some on my lips right now. If you guys can notice, there is like a slight pink tint that it gives and it smells so fantastic. Feels so great. Love lip smackers. And this one just happens to be my favorite of the month. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys um, my boyfriend's favorites. This is just to kind of show you um, some things that, you know, a man's perspective kind of thing, like what he might like. So maybe, maybe, you know, your, your boyfriend or your significant other comes with you to Lush, but they're just not either really interested, they don't think anything in there is for them or wouldn't be for them, or you know how some men are. Uh, so this is just kind of give you an idea of like what he likes, so maybe you could introduce those to your significant other or anything like that. I just thought it would be fun to throw it in and he kind of wanted to be included a little bit, but he's still too scared to get on camera. So I'm going to show a couple of things that he's really liked. Uh, the first is a solid shampoo bar, and this looks kind of gross, but this is the Scenic Solid Shampoo, and this just has a really nice, like, oceany kind of scent to it. I believe it's got pieces of seaweed in it, if I'm not mistaken. It smells really nice, and he he has really enjoyed that. So that has been his favorite shampoo this month. Um, he's really liked this shower jelly, the refresher. And I mentioned it before that um, he's been a fan of the refresher shower jelly. I hate it. Like it is not, it is not me. It is not for me. Refresher has a very lemony scent. Like to me, it reminds me of kitchen cleaner. It's just a super duper, like concentrated kind of just cleaner, like kitchen cleaner lemon smell. I am not a fan of it, but he really liked it because it just kind of has that like energizing kind of quality to it, which I can understand, you know, when you're taking a shower and you just want that like refreshed, energized, feel and like the smell and that's what it gives to him. I just, I'm not a fan of it myself. Um, next is the Kalamazoo Beard and Facial Wash. And like I said, this is a beard wash, but you can also use it on your face. And all of these products, oh, there's still some in here. All of these products obviously can be used men or women. It's not like gender specific products here. So I have used this a couple of times on my face as well and it's really nice, makes my skin feel super soft. Um, but he really likes it. I believe he uses it both on his beard and, you know, on his face too, obviously. Um, but it smells really nice. It's got like a light scent. It's not overpowering. Um, it's made with uh, fresh, fresh pineapple. And like I said, it made, when I used it on my face, it was just like super softening. So he really liked that. And then last for him is the Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. I absolutely love this as well. It smells so freaking good. Now, I don't use this myself because 
I really just I want him to smell like it I want him to use it because I want it I want to smell it on him kind of thing uh, but it smells so so good it's made with um it says a, a rapturous tingle of menthol crystals and a crisp breath of spearmint um and it it does it has like a mintiness but it's it's like a clean mint smell I know that sounds so weird but it smells so fantastic and I'm not usually like super wild about mint smells but this one here there's just something about it that like I could just sit here and sniff this for like the rest of my life and be completely happy so I definitely love smelling that on him and he really likes it so it's a perfect match there and then lastly I thought for fun I would put in my least favorite product of the month and I know some of you guys probably already know about this because I had um, I had showed it in another video that I've done um, but the Lush Sparkle Toothy Tabs I I was debating on throwing these away because I hated them that much but I don't like to be wasteful on the type of person that I need to use up the entire product before I pitch it otherwise I just feel like I'm I'm throwing money away so I am forcing myself through this container and I am getting pretty low I I have some left obviously uh, quite a bit I guess actually um but yes I've been I've been trying to push myself through these and I think I'll be able to finish them without wasting them but man I really don't like these things now I have tried some other lush toothy tabs now um I just got a new thing of the oral pleasure toothy tabs but I I only use like maybe two of them so far because I really want to just get through these before I start in on um my other bottle or else I fear I will never use these ones up so I like the toothy tabs do not get me wrong the lush toothy tabs are really nice it's a different way of using toothpaste that you know a lot of people aren't like you know familiar with basically they're just little if you aren't familiar with a toothy tab it's basically just it looks like a pill it just looks like a little pill and you stick it in your mouth you crunch it up in between your teeth and you know you make your toothbrush wet and get it in there and just start scrubbing around and it lathers up just like you know normal toothpaste would so it's it's nice that you're getting you know just enough that you need you're not like having to like squirt the last dredges of toothpaste out of your tooth because you know how much of a pain that is so I do like the toothy tabs but the sparkle it is made with uh, pepper pepper so it's like biting into a peppercorn that's the only way I can describe it it's so like disgusting like I just can't get past that pepperiness because like I just I don't want my mouth to taste like pepper it's just oh I hate it um, so yeah I'm just I'm not a fan of the sparkle but like I said I've tried um, the oral pleasure and I liked those um, so far the two times that I used it I, I do think that I like them more um, but I just I can't get past the sparkle and the pepper you guys I don't know you'll have to let me know if you've ever used them how you feel about them I mean maybe some people do like it but black pepper it's like biting into a peppercorn it's so gross but anyway guys that is my lush plus favorite I hope you guys enjoyed the video I plan on putting up one of these each month to show you just some of the products I'm using and liking and maybe just throw in one that I am absolutely despising as well so you guys can see but like I said I just want you to comment down below your favorites maybe there's something I will see that I can check out or maybe there's something you've seen that you can check out uh, but yes we can just share all that information but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.